Let's style some outfits for spring. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. So in last week's video, we recreated some denim looks for spring. And in this week's video, it's some denim, it's some floral, it's a whole bunch of things. I tried to incorporate many different styles and hopefully you find something that you can use. So this first outfit can be styled in many different ways. However, I really do like the way that she styled it with the belt and the white shirt and the heels. This can also be worn with sneakers or a t-shirt or a band t-shirt, whatever your style is. That's the great thing about suits. They can really take on the person's style and it can be the same exact suit but be styled differently. I love that about suits. The way she styled it is the way that I would probably wear it. And I found a great alternative to this suit. I found this blazer and these pants from Everlane. Now while they are a different color, I think hers more white and the one from Everlane is a little bit more beige, it gives you the same exact effect. In fact, this one is a little more updated in that they, they're calling this the 80s blazer. So it's a little more current, which is kind of funny. <laughs> it's a little more current in that it has a little more shoulder pads and the shape. This blazer actually comes in several different colors if you just want the blazer. But if you're going for this look, buying both of them is a perfect pair. So we know by now that when you are recreating an outfit, you want to look for the elements of the outfit that stand out that you like the most. On top of that, you want to look for the just right accessories. And if you notice, her belt has a little bit of charm, right? It literally has charms hanging from her belt. And this one from Revolve, this belt from Revolve can give you the same effect. The white button down is a staple piece that most of us already have. And pretty much any black purse can be worn with this. Hers looks like it's a little clutch or a small little top handle. And of course there are many options, but I'm pretty sure you have that already in your closet. love this look because it is very casual but also extremely put together and a lot of these pieces even if you don't have the right color you already have so we're on the denim train right now and if you are a lover of ripped denim or baggy denim you already have these in your closet but if you don't we talked about these from a goldie last time and I also found these from a goldie that's more of a similar look to what she's wearing these from H&M, though they don't have rips on them, or in them, on them? <laughs> though there's no rips, <laughs> they still give the same effect. And if you are like me and baggy jeans is just not your thing, you can always try these from Spanx. I spoke about these in my last video. I told you that I also had a pair. I love them. I'm getting another color, but it's still relaxed, put together, and very cute. I will give you a quick warning about the Spanx jeans. They do run long. So you might have to wear heels with it or you might even have to get a petite. So looking at the elements of this outfit, besides the baggy jeans with the rips, we also see a nice, beautiful, feminine, pink, flowy, I believe this is Paisley shirt. And though you might not have this shirt exactly, you have something similar or you could find something very easily. This shirt from Farm Rio, though is not exactly the same, does give you that bright kind of flowy vibe. It can translate in this look. This one from Ghani can do the same. It is a bit different. It is floral as opposed to paisley, but it's giving you the same vibe. This one from Revolve does the same. It is sheer, so you're gonna have to put something underneath it. And this one from Bloomingdale's, um, I believe it's French Connection, is not exactly flowy, but it is oversized and it is a relaxed vibe. 
So again, we're looking at the details of this outfit, a pink paisley flowy shirt, baggy pair of jeans with some rips. The other thing that kind of brings it together, or the other two things that bring it together is this beautiful Chanel purse that she has and these awesome sunglasses. And as far as a pink flap bag, those are very easy to come by, right? You could go with one from Jack Moose, and I know that is still on the higher end, but still a fabulous option. This one from Coach works as well, but it is smaller and a different shape. This one from Coach is giving you more of the shape and is also closer to the one that she's wearing. And if you like this look, but don't like the shape of the Chanel, there's always the Brandon Blackwood purse in this beautiful pink color. So this outfit is interesting in that it has a lot of the same elements, but also different than the first outfit. They're both plaid, they're both um, neutral colors, but the shapes are vastly different, giving a different effect to the whole outfit. So with this recreation, I had to think outside the box a little bit, and I encourage you to do the same. It is very much on trend right now, but also easier to find in the men's section. So what I did <laughs> was did a lot of searching, a lot of different places, and I came up to Walmart, believe it or not. And I found this blazer for a whopping $47.99. Now, you will probably have to still buy it oversized because I see that it is tapered in the waist, but it will still give you a very, very similar vibe. These from Acne, which is on the higher end, but these pants, it's interesting, they have a male model and a woman model. So they're definitely able to be worn by everyone. And if those are too much for you, Pretty Little Thing has something very, very similar. If you just like the composition of the black and white and the gray and white together but don't necessarily care for it being too baggy these from our Hoffman will do the trick get you a beautiful pair of white sandals throw on your best red lipstick and you're ready this is 100% something that you will see me wear on a spring day. This kind of outfit is a go-to for me. It's dressed down and it's just very easy. You see she has her blazer over her shoulder, which I do often, and then she just has on a collar shirt, right? So this is very easily um, recreatable in my own closet and I'm sure it is in yours as well. So this pinstripe Zara blazer it's very similar to what she's wearing. And really this is not hard to find. And you can find this blue shirt or this blue striped button down shirt anywhere. I found one at Everlane, I found one at Zara, I found one at Banana Republic. And if you want to spend a little more and one that's a little more substantial, I found this at net porte So again, the details that make this outfit what it is, is I believe the sunglasses and the bag. She also has on black shorts. Those can be found anywhere. They also can be worn with trousers, um, jeans. This is just a very basic but put together outfit. So as far as the bag's concerned, we can look at this one from Marc Jacobs. Of course, you can look at the Kirk Geiger option. This one from Coach Outlet I have never seen before in this colorway and I think it's amazing. And of course, you could use this one from Rebecca Minkoff. The sunglasses she has on, I believe, are Linda Farrow, but I'm 100% sure those are sold out. If they weren't, I would have them. I love them. But a brown pair of sunglasses with a blue tint is not a hard thing to find, right? These from Gucci are an option. These from Amazon are a solid option. These from Urban Outfitters are definitely an option, even though they don't have a blue lens. Urban Outfitters has some really cool sunglasses, so go check them out.
super easy to create. A lot of it you already have in your closet and very chic and put together. If you notice, a lot of these ladies are wearing suits, two-piece suits, because it's just like an easy outfit. A lot of times, or most of the time, you don't have to think about anything except for your accessories. And I think that this is a perfect example of how a suit can be adjusted to someone's style. So the way she styled this suit is very, very cool, right? I would style it completely different because my style is completely different, but we would have on the same suit. What I love about this is that she paired the brown with the orange. Very beautiful together. Those are great colors to put together, especially in fall. She wore some Jordan 1s as opposed to some boots or someone like me who would wear some orange heels and a clutch, right? She put on the Jordan 1s and then added, I believe what she had on was a Gucci bag. So these are not cheap. <laughs> the Jordan 1s are not cheap. I found some Dunks instead that are much, much cheaper. Now they don't look exactly the same, but you do get that same vibe. This suit from Naked is also giving you a similar look. It's slightly different in that this one has a pattern and the one that she was wearing does not, but it's gonna give you the same vibe, especially paired with the sneakers. It's gonna really look the same. And any brown or any color um, tote that you wanna put on with this will definitely work. Whether it's beige, brown, black, orange would be cute as well. That would all bring it together and you would get the same look that she has. So I chose this look because it is a very classic look that you have in your closet, right? But you might need to tweak a little bit. So this is basic. It's black and white. She looks very cool. She looks beautiful, but it is a pretty basic outfit that I'm sure most of us have. So if you don't have a white moto jacket, you might have a black. If you're a person that likes color, you might have it in a different color. But if you take that moto jacket and pair it with a leather pair of pants, it's going to look very similar. Even if it's not leather, it could be a pair of jeans. The point here is you want to look for something that has a similar cut. So if these aren't baggy, these are straight. But just in case you don't have the moto jacket or you prefer to have one that's cut like this, this one from Anthropology would do the trick. This one from ASOS, even though it's black and not white, is equally as cool. And if you're like, forget black and white, give me some metallic, this one will also work and also obviously very on trend. Leather pants are very easy to find right now. These from ASOS would do the trick. These from Revolve would do the same. And these from Anthropology will give it a different spin. I know we're looking at black leather pants, but what if you wore the moto jacket, the white, the black one, whatever color you have, with a colored pair of leather pants? White booties can be hard to pull off in some instances. Banana Republic, Schutz, Revolve, and Bloomingdale's all have some options. If you're a person that does not like white booties, of course black will do the same. You can even pair this outfit with a pair of sneakers. There is nothing like an outfit, a monochrome outfit, with a pop of color. This particular kind of outfit, in my opinion, never really goes out of style. This is pretty classic, right? So what she has on here is a beautiful orange trench coat, and it doesn't have to be orange, and it doesn't have to be a trench, but black, white, with a color is just chef's kiss. So this one from Farfetch and Adidas would work. This one from Boohoo would do the same thing. This Saks Pots one is to die for. And this one from Fur 21 will get the job done. So she also has on a pair of striped palazzo pants that believe it or not, were very easy to find. Favorites were a pretty little thing. These from Revolve. And I would even consider 
styling this outfit with the first pair of pants that we saw at Everlane. I actually believe they might have a striped option. She has paired this whole outfit with a black pair of pumps that we all have. Girl, if you don't have a black pair of heels, go get a pair right now. That's super basic in your closet, right? point here is is that it is very easy to look put together you might have to buy something here or something there but a lot of it is already in your closet you just have to know how to put it together what to look for and what suits you most and at this point I think we got it right anyway you guys thank you so much for watching if you like the video like comment subscribe share the video and I will see you in my next video